Good morning guys, DCRC here with my dad, the chauffeur. Uh, we're going to the Proline Shootout in Austin, Texas at Thornhill Raceway. Uh, gonna be a good weekend of competitive racing with uh, Texas locals, maybe some people from Louisiana, just basically a southern race. Uh, gonna be tight for sure. We woke up at about 5.45, right now it's 7.17, so you can see bright and early, headed to the track, hopefully gonna get there around 10 and start getting practicing and we're gonna try some things for tomorrow for racing. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Just got here, we got the signature Thornhill red little thing there, it has the Thornhill banner on it. There's the pit, pit space right there, air conditioned. Some people camp out here. The tracks under that big building are cover. Kind of see it in there. Yeah, we're gonna go inside and get unpacked. All right, we just made it to the track, checking out the track for the first time. The track has just opened up. There's only been two cars on it. Looks crazy tight for Thornhill. Uh, it makes the pictures make the track look pretty big, but the uh, kind of makes it look small in person. Forty-three point three. It's a double trip on the front, and then at one eighty, and like a kicker right there. Looks like a just a sweeping turn, maybe a bank in there, I'm not really sure. The back straight looks really cool with that drop down there. Yeah, we're gonna try to get my stuff going. play a little joke on Brandon Rose. Uh, he's supposed to be here in about 30 minutes. I have a freshly painted body for him right there. And I'm going to prank him and say I didn't bring it. We'll see his reaction when he gets here. Brandon just showed up. Hey, I have some bad news for you. You want to guess what it is? Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Joker, I accidentally left his body at my house. No joke. Oh, I'm joking. I'm yes, you do. You're lying. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's it's like Christmas. I know, dude. It, the, yeah. the blue is still blue. Blue. The blue looks way better. So, did I do good? You're really good. The second time using the airbrush? Yep. Are you doing good? Dude, this thing looks sick. Absolutely amazing. Better than my old paint scheme. Yeah. Old, new. Comment below which one you like more, old or new. Which one do you like more? Probably this one. I do too. I like the blue a lot. And the carbon fiber looks really good. Nice. I, I read this one for like two and a half years. Like, I want yeah, something different. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's too much yellow. Yeah. And, and this. Silver right there. Yeah, silver and yellow. And they charged me 60 bucks for that. 60 bucks, dude, that's insane. <laughs> dude, some painters are just, they're like, I yeah, would understand if it was like a really good, like a body looks amazing. Like an yeah. easy custom or something like that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be worth it. Yeah, but like something like this, I mean, this isn't bad, but it's not that fancy. Yeah. It's not really worth 60 bucks. You wanna go over your stuff real quick? To the Brandon rides? Alright. You get all my cars. You got 
nitro truck, nitro buggy, and electric buggy. Teakin on all the electric car, MKS servo. I don't have, I run all three tall servos except for this one. Air charge receiver, Protect battery. Nice. Except for that one. He's gonna try out the front wing on there. Never tried it. You know, can you get that out. super speed? Uh, truck, Ninja Motors on both, Futaba all servos, uh, electronic radio on this one too, and I don't know what battery I run in that one. Where'd you get that red fuel tubing? Mike's. You're gonna it's get. A, you're gonna need some blue blue fuel tubing when you move to that paint scheme. I don't know what's up. Look, I got the orange and red on this orange one. And you already red. know. Yeah. It's like a purplish blue. Pole. I'm on M, light purple. M purple. Uh, Rutava, Ninja, Airtronics. Don't know a battery I run. I've been running that for like two years. It's whatever works, yeah. Yeah. This is my chuggy body. The chuggy body actually looks good. It does. I think the chuggy body. It looks body better looks for sure. Because like, there's more red and black yeah. in it. This one I like. Mm -hmm. I think all truck bodies look good, better. And then there's the old electric body, it's side by side. I mean, it was pretty hammered. This one, this body's a year old too. All that good stuff. This breaking off. And I'll tell you what, these Texas tracks destroy the crap out of your bodies. bodies yeah, it's crazy. In St. Louis, you could literally get like a whole year if you're good on your bodies. Here, you get like. Two months, the best. It's insane. It's for real. For you? For me, yeah. Yeah, I get a little more. Because I, I get drive. Like half, I get half a year. I drive. Well, I also don't let my bodies get as bad as yours. I drive like stupid hard. I take some gnarly hits, and then I'm just like, since I paint my own bodies, I don't pay to paint them, so it's really cheap for yeah. me to do them. So it's really cheap and easy for me to just be like, all right, I want a new one, and then get a new one. All right, I want to go check out my stuff. I haven't really shown you two my Dylan. stuff. That's the Dylan. Let me show you my stuff, yeah. We're going in the AC, which we don't need AC today. It's like 70 degrees. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. We got the chauffeur blowing up cars. We got my nitro buggy charging. OS engine, Donald fuel, OS pipe, TMSR air filter, so that thing's a lifesaver. 920 stickers, Kusaba servos, track power battery. Yeah, we're a lot more intense than mine. <laughs> I run VP fuels as well. Dude, dude, that's what everyone runs here. In the Midwest, everyone runs uh, Byron's. Everyone here runs. 30% Tasman blend, you already know. My new wrap. Pretty sick. I got 50 bucks. I owe you 50 now, where are you? New body. See, I owe him 50. He's pretty dumb. Your model. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it here for pit walk. Ours. Yes, we might do a pit walk later, make it a separate video, and go around all these pits. Maybe we'll go outside. I don't really know what's outside, but we'll, we'll see. All right, sign up for now. Here, we just got back to the hotel, and after some practice, uh, there wasn't really anything exciting happening on practice day since it's just practice day. So it should be a better vlog tomorrow for qualifying on Saturday. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Peace out.